And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Kahiri. We are going to be playing a deck with all the predict that you can have because we're going to be playing a deck based around Kahiri the Returned. Six mana, four, four, fearsome. When I'm summoned, you create a copy of me in your deck, but then also if you ever just see Kahiri in a prediction, you get to grant all allied copies of Kahiri everywhere, plus two, plus two. And so that's kind of the goal of our deck is to get lots of predicts and grow these Kahiris. The other thing, you know, we have a champion that predicts, the Zillion. Of course, Zillion also puts time bombs into our deck. And so if we have all these predicts, we can also find time bombs with the uh, predict. So like the best predict we can have is like one that we find a time bomb and put on top and that we see a Kahiri in our deck and grant them all plus two, plus two. That's kind of, that's like the dream right there. Um, so yeah, we got all the predict cards, Ancient Preparations, Aspiring Chronomancer, we're even playing time in a bottle to predict, even though like the advance and allied landmark two rounds doesn't really matter. I guess, you know, it's Preservarium and preparations, that's it. But this thing predicts, you know, our size scouts predicting, all sorts of predicts. Since we're predicting, we also have these Xenotype Researchers granting the three random allies in our deck plus three plus three, so then we can go find those as well with all of our predicts and so you know we can have like bigger kahiris or vise or you know anything else some sand sc size scouts that uh, could have elusive um so yeah so it should be pretty interesting oh yeah scrying sands is going to be another predict for us and then we have counterfeit copies which i think okay so i as you all know i'm not like a huge counterfeit copy fan but i think that this counterfeit copies is going to be trying to target kahiri for our deck that would be my guess um, or maybe time bomb, you know, put more time bombs into our deck. Like, I think those are probably going to be our targets for that too. So we'll have that in here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Zillion Kahiri. Um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty silly, but yeah, maybe, maybe we can get some people with predicting a bunch. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Let's see how we do. Aurelia Azir. All right, they're going to be super fast. Let's look for some time bombs. Okay. So I'm going to mulligan this card and maybe keep the rest. You know, we have predict, predict. We have the combat spell predict. Like, this combat trick predict could be great against Aurelia. They attack with, like, quick attack Aurelia. We make it a 1-2. All right, I'm gonna just skip. I don't really want any of these right now. The Emperor commands. The land obey. So, I mean, I could take Psy Scout, but I don't. I don't think I want Psy Scout. It Psy Scout is another predict card, and it, if we choose a landmark we can give it elusive so we can block the elusives so that's not bad either i kind of wanted to skip still and just kind of look for zillion so that's zillion's kind of the card that i want i'm gonna just skip we can always rely on you to keep us safe you think i should grab counterfeit what what would i do with counterfeit copies What would be the point of grabbing counterfeit copies for for Preservarium? It can be undone. Let's play this first. Using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Look at this. See what I've learned. Okay, so you just want me to get counterfeit so that then I can get Kahiri and then I can counterfeit Kahiri. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. All right, let's find it. Oh. Unfortunately, no landmarks. We don't get to give the Psy Scout elusive. All right, so we have to choose a landmark for that. Yeah, that's too bad. 
All right, well, I guess I'll just take this 4-7 zillion. I always wondered what was out there. Full speed ahead. Stand down. And I'll save the spell mana. We'll go with this, like, other predict after the, the zillion. Well, I guess... I guess I could try to Vi challenge Azir, or I go for Time Bomb. Vi challenge Azir just isn't going to work, right? Because they're going to just use a, a recall card, but it would at least make them use a recall card right now. Let's go Time Bomb. <laughs> Time bomb. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. Okay, yeah, your donation deck there. Really powerful wizard. Cool, cool. I gotcha. Um, right, draw a time bomb. Okay, cool. I like seeing that. That's a lot of mana for a card that isn't completely... That I do not like seeing. That one, though. Because it's... The Screen Glade Duo is... Yeah, this, this is going to be a problem. Screen Glade Duo. We don't have Quicksand, do we? No. Like, do I have anything I can draw from Time Bomb? Siphoning Strike. Okay, we do have Siphoning Strike. Eight mana. Let's look for a Siphoning Strike. No Siphoning Strike. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an yeah. illusion. All right, well, hopefully we draw a Siphoning Strike. Oh, wait. Time in a Bottle Time Bomb. That actually works. Whoa, I didn't think of Time in a Bottle Time Bomb. I could, I could have grabbed the time in a bottle before but yeah this is focus speed oh that's yeah i guess that's a thing that's focus speed that focus speed's really weird you are lost yes down to nine focus speed is really weird on, like, regular cards that you put into your deck. Not on just, like, a created card. As I thought. Okay, we got rid of the duo. Let's go. I just Clever. Wow, how about that? Got rid of the duo. Let's go. Piltover Enforcer on the scene. Looks like we are focusing using multiple lenses. Wow! We got him! Okay. I guess I can't start can't keep talking trash about time in a bottle now. It saved us. Time in a bottle doing work. Alright, time time in a bottle time bomb. That's that's a real thing. That looked like a real thing there. Dang. Timo burn. 
Alright, do we have any Nexus healing? No, so we just gotta race. Okay, we got Zillion. To look for Time Bomb, and then we can counterfeit copies, Time Bomb. And we can... So we can try to find Time Bombs. Okay. This is an odd hand to keep up. So I'm saving the ancient preparations for after this to help us find time bombs. That looks like a time bomb to me. The way is always the same. Well, they have a great hand with that, and I really, really hope they don't have another sump worker. Please don't have a sump worker. No! Oh, man. Oh, that's too bad, because of course I could time bomb and then time in a bottle and advance it. Now... Growth. I probably need to just copy this, though, right now. Man, what a perfect hand for them. Alright, so we gotta take Sand Spinner. I'd prefer to draw another Time Bomb, but we gotta take the Sand Spinner and have Sand Spinner challenge Posse. Man, this is this is too bad. Cause really, if they didn't if they didn't have that second that second posse in hand, like even if if like they just had another iterative improvement in hand, right? Like if they just didn't have the second posse in hand, like this game is so much different. Man, what a what a great hand for our opponent. Two posse and iterative improvement into Teemo. That's too bad. That three. Yeah. Man, what a crazy good hand for them. Even I can run out of time. Those posses are ridiculous. We're gonna be playing a posse deck up next. Hopefully, we can have that kind of luck. Alright, back to Aurelia Zero. Man, we are playing. It is aggro day today. It is everybody playing aggro. This all seems pretty decent to keep. I'm probably going Zillion into Xenotype Researchers and then maybe like Chronomancer on round four. With Chronomancer with a time bomb, maybe. Time bomb! Dude, we are so good at finding time bombs.
I didn't just attack for one. Oh, right, because they can retreat in, in a blocker, that's why. Predicting. Um. I mean, I could see taking the zillion, put more, fi put four more time bombs in the deck. I can, if I do that, I can have like my zillion here block the sparring student to save me all this life. Yeah, I think we do that. Zazir levels up so so easily, so fast. That could be the game winning play, having me waste all five of my man you know, like that that took up my whole turn. Try to not die this round. Hopefully. So I want to put the Azir down to one health. Yeah, that's the block. So we'll counterfeit copies the time bomb. Well, I guess I should I should probably scrying sands this soldier and save three life. I guess I could do that. Obviously, I can't anymore, but I probably should have done that to begin with. This will kill all of them. Keep grabbing time bombs. Um, yeah, so I should have I should have used that scrying sands and just saved some life. Or I mean, I guess I could have saved Zillion. My name will echo through the ages. But 
When rhythm takes place, there's no time for fear. Hmm. There's the one two punch. That puts me down to one. I should have passed when they did. Should have passed when they did. I didn't need to make that attack. Stand down. I did not need to make that attack. They did a good job of Good job being patient. I should have just passed. You gotta be kidding me. So I was hoping that they would play something. Obviously, the the blade dance killed me, but I was hoping they would play something else, and then I would be able to siphoning strike and kill the Azir before attacking. But still, if they played something else, they would just kill me anyway. We were, we were dead. That was like the perfect two cards to have a zero plus that that uh, blade dance three. That was, you know, and then pump spell. Like that was that was great. I felt good about winning that game. But that was you know perfect last three cards, which I guess that's why they gave me the the GGs. You know, like whenever they did the good game, whenever they did the the time in a bottle, I was thinking it's because I was doing well. But no, they had the perfect cards. All right, Noxus Sharima. This is definitely like a Sand Spinner type of matchup. You know, Sand Spinner works out well against both of those champions. I have to say though, like through our, our three games, yes, we're one and two, but I have been really impressed with how good the predicts have been in our deck and just really have been impressed with our deck in general. I really have been. Like, we played against three super aggressive decks that are really good, that it all had very good hands. I'm I'm impressed with how well we have stayed with those decks, with how um, with how well our deck has held up in these three games. Researchers, there's no rush. That's right, run. Don't touch that. So I don't really want to save Zillion because Zillion has vulnerable. Like, I would save the Zillion now, but then it would just die the next round anyway. I do like saving a 3 2. Do I really want to counterfeit copies time bombs? Maybe. I could see that being worth it. So I grab counterfeit copies and then play Preservarium. Next round we have our five mana, like one for counterfeit copies. Yeah. I think that's probably worth it. Upset the tower guardian. See what I've learned?
Ooh. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Interesting. All right, so you block there, you block there. Thrashing Snapper with Exhaust is awesome. Kiri? I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. So they got five cards. If we can just get to the late game, we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. Look what good comes of mortal greed. Observe the price of ambition. I need to be grabbing Kahiri there. So I think we can we could I think there's a good chance we level up Zilli in this round. Rock Hopper just messes up my zillion so much. <sighs> Gross. Kahiri. Alright, found Kahiri. Places to go, people to be. Get big zillion. To ruin. My board. <laughs> big zill. Time bomb. Because now with leveled up zillion, then whenever we play Kahiri, we'll make another Kahiri in hand. And that sounds pretty sweet. Um. There's another Kahiri right there. Um, I guess I take the other one. No, I'm going to take the siphoning strike. It is now as it would be then. Cuz we're going to keep on making Kahiris. We'll be good there. But in case of another scary Fall to pieces. I don't, they have so much mana over here that they're wasting. If they want to waste all this mana, I'm cool with it. Cuz I just want you know, leveled up. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? I just want to level up Zillion. 
Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Humble yourself. Okay. I'll take this trade because, you know, they had the quick attack sever that would have killed that 5-3 because it was vulnerable. Right now a 6-4 can't kill Zillion. Oh, that's a very good card for them. Wealth is merely a foolish distraction, my dear. Then call me a rich, distracted fool. Is Bakai better than Merciless? No. Um, for our deck, it kind of fits the just in general, no. But it kind of fit. We have like a lot of other threes, and so it, it fits fine on on four, the four mana slot for us. Oh no! I have a fight spell. I guess that's game. That was worst possible scenario. Man, our decks look, looked good. I, you know, obviously I could have just played Kahiri, right? But that, I guess that would have been safer. Just play Kahiri there. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's that's the safer play, just play Kahiri. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to make the, you know, I wanted to get rid of the LeBlanc and make my blocker larger. But that was the that was the line that we lose if they have you know their three cards left if they have those two cards if they have pump spell plus bloody business. You, see, you know sometimes the game's like that. Uh, that's what's been happening to our deck. I think our our deck. I've honestly been really impressed with our deck. Our Kahira was an eight eight, right there. So I should have just played it. We'll have to try this deck out again, because. Uh, do you, do you consider that overthinking it? Playing the remove playing the removal spell instead of playing the blocker? That's o that's overthinking it. This is why sometimes you got to just watch the games cuz um, I think our deck has looked great. I know we but we're only 1 and 3. So if you just look at the records um, but I I've been really impressed with these predict cards. I didn't have as much expectation for them. All right, Aurelian Soul, Shivana. We have the... I don't know if I should keep the body. Yuck. That Scrying Sands could be really important. You know, because I'm... I'm basically keeping, like, these things, because, like... Their big things are going to be like Shivana, Screeching Dragon, right? So I want like my fours and fives here to try to match with their fours and fives. Their Shivana, Screeching Dragon. Yeah, this is the worst. <laughs> this is a pretty bad hand. Only the champion spells that seven mana chrono shift, which is really cool. I think I'm okay with the both pass. Mm -hmm. 
massive ambition. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. I found a home among the dragon guard. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. be yours. Prepare for battle! Humble yourself. I guess they have sharp sight. But cut that out of their hands. I don't think I'm... I don't know. I feel like I would need some more practice with this deck or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like first deck of the day. Maybe that's it. But I, I don't feel like I'm making... Like, the decisions I'm making aren't really paying off that well for me. It's one of those kind of things where the, the deck has felt better than the win-loss record. And I think it had... I think it had the first uh, three games in particular were, were tough matchups. And I was impressed how it... Uh, how it could handle those. We're just... I was thinking that we weren't going to have like any... Like enough interaction... Or enough card advantage, but predict has really been looking good. I've been impressed. Researchers, there's no rush. Our opponents have had just amazing hands, though, right? Like they keep on having like the, like some of the best cards they can have, Tell it to the all the time. <laughs> and so, like if they have, you know, again, are able to curve out, you know, Clips Dragon into a really soul, that's always really difficult to beat. But some of our earlier opponents. You know, like, it looked like we were going to win the game, but they had the exact cards they needed, like, at the end of their hand, their last, like, three cards to to finish the game out the last two games. Like, those last two could have easily been wins. Okay. The Vi got him. <laughs> well, of course. Vi Chrono Shift. It's a card I need to play more, Chrono Shift. So what was going to happen there is we were going to kill their 7-7. Seven, seven. Our Vi was going to be come back with plus 3, plus 3. And so it was going to be a 12-7 tough. And I guess they didn't want to deal with the 12-7 tough. Yeah, so even though even though we only went two and three, um, again I have to say that the predicts really looked better than expected and really looked pretty good. And I think that I would I would be, um, yeah, like this was really close to a four and one. Like those those two games in the middle that we lost um, were both ones that I thought they were going to be winning. Where opponents down to like three cards, and each time they had like the three cards that really helped them, you know, finish the game out right and. Um, yeah, the predicts were the predicts were awesome. So um, I'll have to give this deck a try again in the future. You know, maybe we don't play against all aggro like we did the first three matches. We we had uh, besides those two losses, our other loss was the deck with the Kyrian deck, where they had turn one Teemo, turn two Kyrian, turn three Kyrian, turn four copy Kyrian, turn five copy Kyrian, plus another Teemo. Like you know, like they had like that kind of crazy hand, like where. Our, our hand was awesome, though, as well, where if they didn't have the turn three Kyrian, even if they would have just had a copy spell there, if they didn't have that other Kyrian, you know, we were going to, you know, we had, like, the time bomb going off there that was going to kill that first one, and that would have made a, a big difference. Um, cut counterfeits for Merciless Hunter. 
And the counterfeits do... I don't love counterfeit, but they do play a role in this deck of making extra copies of Time Bomb, and you can do Kahiri as well. I, like, that that third loss, I, I needed to play the 8-8 Kahiri at that point. And so they do play... I would want to keep trying it out a little bit with, with counterfeit, but that that's a card that's on the watch list. I don't know if I would replace it with Merciless Hunter, considering you already got Psy Scout and Xenotype Researchers. I would maybe think of, like, a... Um, a Mystic Shot, you know, having like a, a cheap interaction spell with like Mystic Shot, I could see doing something like that instead of Counterfeit, but I would still keep Counterfeit for now. Because, and I have to say that Time in a Bottle was a card that I was expecting to be very bad, and it honestly was very good. So, so that's that's a big difference. Um, yeah, the Time in the Bottle with the Time Bombs, um, that. That was a combination that I didn't really see. I was I was just only thinking of time in the bottle with Preservarium and Ancient Preparations, but that with the Time Bomb is honestly a really cool combo. Um, no, but Kahiri didn't look good. No, but it's also kind of my fault. I didn't play towards Kahiri ever, so I we can't really blame. I never chose Kahiri in a predict. Um, and the one time game four when I had Kahiri and I could have played it. I really, I should have. If I would have played Kahiri that turn four, it's the 8-8. That game four, it's the 8-8 that can block. Maybe that game's a little different. Maybe we don't lose that game, but I don't know. They they had the uh, the plus three, plus one, and the fight spell. Um, I don't know if we win that game still. We probably don't, but it would have gave me a better chance than, than not playing, than playing the Siphoning Strike instead. Uh, Chronomancer was awesome for us. I would keep the Chronomancers. The Chronomancers were really, really good. Like the good blocker, um, I wouldn't shave one of those. Um, you could shave a, yeah, if you want to shave a Psy Scout, you can. Um, but the Chronomancers were really good. Xenotype Researcher is pretty decent here, and we oftentimes were hitting Chronomancers and getting five sixes. I really liked that. Um, I, I liked the the amount of one and two mana cards. You know, half of the deck being one and two mana cards. It allowed us to be able to play a lot of cheap stuff to be able to kind of keep up with the aggro decks or how aggressive this metagame is. So I, I liked having those. I wouldn't get rid of um, Chronomancer at all. Okay, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Zillion Kahiri. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know how you liked the predict um, and everything like that. Um, yeah, I thought, it, I thought it honestly looked looked very, very good. I liked it. I wonder, Vi is probably the best champion. I was thinking, like, is there a better champion than Vi? Vi is probably the best champion. I don't know if, you know, playing Jinx, Renekton, Sivir, Heimer. Vi is probably the best option. But I was just, just wondering about that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's going to be it here for Zillion Kahiri. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.